They're all legal and everything. Hop on board really quick and take a look. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we came that. for. Bro, it's big, bro. It's big. Woo. Good job. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Dude, we should probably anchor up right out there. Look at that. We... I've got our limit within minutes. Within minutes, we got our limit. All right, guys, we're uh, ready to do some lobstering. We just pulled up on this old abandoned boat here. And uh, we're gonna jump in a little bit and check it out and see what's going on. We're hoping for some lobsters. And then if we don't find them here, we got some other spots. I've never seen anything like that. They look a lot bigger out there. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. How many do you think are in there? Probably hundreds, right? Yeah. Dude, that, that big Someone's got to know about this. When I saw the hole. Dude. How many do we got? 
like 15. What are we what are we allowed to keep? 18. That, dude, I but I mean, just keep on like trying to get big ones that we'll throw out the smaller yeah, ones. Yeah, like, should I keep the small ones in a little bucket? Oh, I'm still doing that. Double. That's a solid one. One, one, two. Yeah, big bucker. Look how big he is, man. Dude, that's a solid oh. one. <laughs> dude. dude, this is what you live for right oh, here. Oh my god, this is god like dude. Three monsters. Go. Yeah, this is, I still feel like it's a dream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, literally, I literally took one look and I was like, and I came up. I, I started, dude, like, I didn't even get close enough to see, but I saw the edge of the boat and I yeah. saw it covered and I was like, no, as soon as I got in, I saw dead ones here. Yeah. And at first, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, damn, someone already crushed them. But then there were whole ones, so I'm like, that's the molts. So no one's been here. Yeah. There's just a nest right there. <laughs> oh my God, son. I thought, I thought when you said there was a lot, there's. Look at that. We have got our limit. Six. Within minutes. Within minutes, we got our limit. Seven. And there was Josh and Garrett. G money. Uh, literally, we're hand picking them. This is the most epic lobstering I've ever seen in my life. It's unbelievable. Uh, I'm sure you saw the footage of up underneath the boat there. I'm gonna cut out where I said it was. So they won't know. But uh, guys, this, it was absolutely epic. We, we've literally been lobstering for 20 minutes at most, maybe 10 minutes, and we're gonna head back to the boat and call it a day of lobstering. Can't let them see our honey hole. Wait. Here, I'm gonna block. We gotta block Josh. Oh shit, sorry, we're gonna stink. That won't even fit, huh? That, that one's pretty big under you, I think. Wait, let me get a picture of that. Oh my god. Alright, guys. So we're headed back. We just got our limit of lobsters in literally 10 minutes and uh, it's pretty funny because it's first day of lobster season and there's boats cruising on out to the reefs and our spot is literally right next to them so there there's just hundreds of boats going right past us and they're going all the way out to the reefs they're gonna go searching all those rocks diving deep waters exhausting themselves and we just got our damn limit in literally 10 minutes absolutely Insane. We're all on top of the world right now. We, we shotgunned a beer. It was 9.15. It's 9.15 <laughs> in the morning. We're going home. It's just abs absolutely the craziest experience I've had in a long time, dude. Yeah. That image of those lobsters under that boat is going to be in my head the rest of my life. I will never forget that. That is so crazy. Fuck yeah. Oh, I can't Woo. say that on YouTube. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Oh man. Woo! Now the rest of the day we're just gonna chill out. We're gonna go do some diving, maybe some fishing, but mission accomplished. We have the whole day to relax now. I'm so excited. I leave tomorrow for California with my girl and uh what a great day before I leave. This is insane. Alright guys, it's day two of lobster season. And with the boys, and we're gonna go back to our honey hole and see if they're still there. Day two. Day two, baby. And we slept in today. So. Nobody's on our spot. Yep. We're gonna go check it out. Down here in Key West. All right. Back to the hole. It's still here. No one's on it. Hopefully our buddies are still home.
Alright guys, so as you can see, we had a hell of a trip lobstering and then we got boarded by an FWC officer, Florida Fish and Wildlife, if you don't know what that is. And this guy was a jerk. He was not a cool officer. He came up on us and was yelling at us and just accusing us and, you know, we're just out there trying to have fun and catch some lobster. We all had our lobster licenses and, you know, we see a, a flipped over boat and my mind immediately thinks, hey, that's where some lobsters will be. Let's check that out. And this guy comes at us and is accusing us of lobstering on artificial habitat, which is, he's claiming is illegal and all this nonsense. But honestly, it's a total gray area because people catch lobsters on jetties and on rocks, and no one says a, a damn thing about it. And uh, you know, there's a sunken boat, and he's you know trying to give us a hard time. Um, basically, the rule is you can't lobster on artificial habitat that was placed there on purpose but again people are lobstering on bridges and all kinds of stuff so you know that kind of annoyed me because that boat that's a sunken boat that's somebody's boat that got lost and flipped over it was not put there on purpose so it doesn't really classify as that artificial habitat so anyways he gave us a hard time gave my buddy a bunch of tickets because his registration wasn't renewed blah 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 but he let us keep a lobster and we went on with our day so just a little bit of a headache all right guys we're back home back at the boat and as you can see we got plenty of lobsters for dinner you want to check out the cooler there um, so this is the second day of lobster season we went out both days and pretty much got our limits so we are uh, we're just gonna clean them up and then we might cook some up here on the boat but well, we had a blast out there I can't wait to, to get that footage all together and put this video together because it was epic. It was absolutely epic what we saw. So um, if not, if you don't see us cooking them, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.